Hello everyone, it is Felicia Bender, the Practical Numerologist. We are continuing our series on how to understand the numerology of your name. So we have several in this series, first name, middle name, last name, and right now we are going over the capstone. Okay, so there is a number in numerology called the capstone, and it is the last letter of your first name. Okay, so what does this bring to us? The capstone indicates how you might tend to finish things up. <laughs> how do you finish something that you start in your life? So interestingly, that, uh, that last letter can give you an indicator. So we're going to start with the full name as it appears on your birth certificate, because as a reminder, we are uh, using Pythagorean numerology here. There are other numerologies. What you are learning today it comes from Pythagoras. So here is the, here is the, 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 what the tool to translate the chart, um, one through nine, where we are going to translate each letter into a number. Uh, this is the very basic way to do that. Uh, take a look at it, pause for a minute. You could write it down. Uh, it'll be in the description box below. You can take a screenshot, whatever works for you. And yet, if you're going to go over this series on the numerology of your name, you will need this chart. And uh, it also helps you to, if you're interested in your soul urge number, if you're interested in your expression, or your destiny number in numerology. This is the tool that you're going to need to, uh, to do that math. All right. So um, let's look at a couple of examples here, just two. All right. Uh, because what we'll, what we'll do is, I don't know, just walk and talk through it. So the last letter of the name Margaret obviously is a T and the T, if you reference that, uh, that chart that we just, uh, that we just, uh, showed <laughs> on screen, uh, T is a number two. Okay. So the last letter, uh, of the, the name Thomas, if your name is Thomas, if you know someone named Thomas, the S is a number one. So, okay, here, we're going to do an encapsulization here an overview. So that capstone, last letter, the first name, here you've got those uh, letter values over there uh, on this infographic. The meaning of it is that this number really shows you how you might approach following through with projects, with activities, and with commitments. Together with the cornerstone, which we'll, we'll have that in a separate video, uh, you can determine how you tend to start something and then how you tend to finish it. So the capstone is, is a word that you can, you know, you can derive its meaning simply by the word itself. Even in uh, the academic world, you can do a capstone uh, um seminar it basically is encapsulating all you've learned right <laughs> that sort of thing so a capstone basically is a culmination here so what i've attempted to do and uh not easily done and this again please understand this is a short snippet okay <laughs> Uh, numerology has depth and breadth that is really phenomenal. So we're taking it in little bits and bites. So if you look here and uh, look at the last letter of your name, uh, if it's a one, it's about all of the attributes of the number one. It's assertion, independence, leadership, originality, pioneering, right? The two is about relationships, sensitivity, intuition, um, learning how to how to really galvanize who you are and uh, from the inside out, right? Because the two tends to have tendencies to be more of a peacekeeper, more of a shape shifter in terms of pleasing others. The three is about words, creativity. It's about emotional uh, expression, uh, creative self-expression, all of those things. The four, uh, when I say fear slash control here, I want to be really clear. It's um, it's about, the four is about, you know, systems. It's about security. It's about stability. And so anything that kind of moves outside of that trajectory for the four is it makes, it makes anyone who has this four kind of nervous. 
<laughs> because it's like the four wants, wants it all laid out. It's yes or no, it's right or wrong, it's this or that, it's black or white, right? So the fear uh, comes around fear of the loss of control or the fear of the chaos. Uh, around. So the, th the four is always learning to be a little bit more flexible uh, with life and with problem solving and with everything else. So the five is about responsible freedom, constructive use of freedom, adventurousness, uh, fearlessness, all the things that go with the five. The six, love, acceptance, the, the key words for the six, uh, home, family, love, duty, service, those sorts of those sorts of energies. The seven is uh, is spiritual wisdom, trust. It's also the analyst and the seeker. Okay. The eight, the money number, money, power, control, authority. The nine is about compassion, humanitarianism, forgiveness. It's uh, altruistic, highly creative. It's a very sacred uh, pathway, as all pathways are, and yet the nine uh, particularly so. Then if you have an 11, a 22, a 33, that is a considered a master number. Those are the repeating you know, the double one is the 11, double two, double three, and so on. And yet in this context, the 11, 22, and 33 is the most common to show up. So again, the uh, if you take a look at this, it'll give you an, a basic idea about how you may tend to finish something. So if we were to do just a, again, a brief example uh, with Margaret, she has uh, the capstone is a two. So um, ultimately, this would indicate that she completes her projects, the actions, experiences that she has with the good of everyone in mind. She's sensitive, intuitive, and is focused on keeping the peace. She's very loving and supportive. Now, always, always remember that in numerology, we're always going to have some more substantial challenges uh, in those areas that we're working with right? And that we're working on and working toward. So whenever I talk about these things, really always keep in the back of your mind that it could be just the opposite. So I know, uh, I know some, uh, um, one Margaret in particular, who had kind of a, a, a surface level of this, and yet underneath it, it was a little bit of the opposite. So again, we have to also understand that that's part of the process of life. We're always, we don't get plopped in on planet Earth being these perfect perfect little beings. How boring would that be? <laughs> so so we, we always have to uh, take that into consideration for both ourselves and for others, right? For other people, it helps us really understand other people better as well. So if your name is Thomas, that last letter is an S, uh, the S is a number one. He might complete projects, his, the actions, the experiences that he might have with the desire to win, to be in the lead. He is ultimately confident, innovative, and is focused on obtaining his own wants and needs. Um, and he's independent and, you know, in the, in the scheme of things, a little bit disruptive, hopefully, in a positive way. Once again, uh, we're going to be working with the opposite. Uh, whenever it shows up. So uh, at, to close, to in, to, uh, to in conclusion, so the cornerstone indicates how you start things. You can take a look at that video. And the capstone indicates how you finish it.